Hello and welcome to this Flame Guitars video. My name is David Kennett. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a product that I'm using for the, the first time and it's called Rock Light Ibano, which I'm going to be using as a fingerboard material. Now you may have heard of a product called Rich Light, which is used by some large manufacturers such as uh, Gibson and Martin for their fretboard material. So it's slightly confusing that we have rich light and, and rock light. But I, I thought I'd, I'd uh, use this on a guitar I'm, I'm currently building and, and see how we get on. Uh, why would I want to, to use a, a sort of composite artificial material on, on a fretboard? Well, if you've got about sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, you can watch a, a fascinating video by Bob Taylor of Taylor Guitars. And he's talking about the sustainable approach they're trying to take with regards to the use of the hardwoods that they use in their own guitars. And he makes this powerful point, which is that we may be the last generation of guitar builders, guitar buyers, using products such as rosewood, ebony, as, as fingerboard materials, as, these, as the forests become depleted of these materials. And as a guitar builder myself, even though I'm only making a few guitars each year, you know, that troubles me that, that I may be sort of in a very, very small way, you know, part of that, that, that problem. And so increasingly over the last few years, I've been more moving towards using uh, hardwood such as um, ash, walnut, maple, and, and the like for the guitars that, I, that I'm building. But for fingerboard, it, it's, it's been more problematic as, as a suitable material beyond eb ebony, rosewood, zero coat and, and, and the like. So I was interested when I c came across this material to, to see, what it, see what it like and as I say, when, when I f first saw it I was struck by how similar it is to a dark, ple a dark and a black piece of ebony. I I'll show you side by side a black piece of ebony I've got here with no streaks in it compared to rock light it's actually called Rock Light Ibano. So I thought I'd make this video to see how we get on, how it works, how it takes to being fretted, how it feels when it's, the guitar is, is actually played with this, with this uh, as a fretboard material. So I hope you find this interesting and let's see how we get on.
So, here is the guitar finally fretted. I guess for me as a guitar building, guitar builder, I have a number of considerations. Firstly, how does it take to being tooled? By that I mean using a planer, sanding it, cutter cutting it. Secondly, is it about its appearance? Is it aesthetically pleasing? And, and thirdly, about its sort of playing surface. How does it feel under the fingers when playing? In terms of uh, planing it, cutting it, sanding it, it felt very similar to me to, to ebony. So I can tell it's a hard, dense material. Uh, and I like how it takes to being, to being tooled. In terms of its aesthetics, I mean, it looks to me, you know, very similar to a dark black piece of, of ebony. It has a slight sort of grain appearance, which again makes it look sort of similar to ebony. Uh, and, I, and I think actually, you know, you could, you could say to someone that this is ebony and that they might well, well believe you. Not that I'm going to try and pass this off as, as ebony. In terms of its playability, I mean, it feels to me you know, very similar to ebony. Obviously, you can see this guitar has yet to have its strings put on it. Uh, but I'm expecting this to, to play, uh, feel under your fingers, as I would expect an ebony fingerboard to feel. But there is one last consideration, which is about, for me, am I going to be using ebony in the future? And as ebony becomes scarcer and scarcer, you know, I can foresee a time in sort of 20, 30 years time where a few guitars will be, will be built using ebony. So for me, if I'm wanting a fretboard with a guitar that, that has a sort of similar appearance to guitar with, with an ebony fingerboard in terms of its look and, and playability, will I be using ebony in the future? I'm not sure. I, I think this, this offers to me um, a lot that, that Ebony offers in terms of appearance, but importantly in terms of how it feels under the fingers when playing it. So to, to sum up, uh, Rocklite Ibano, I like it. I will definitely be using more of it in the future. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching it.